it's raining outside. Oops, where is the, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can hear it. Actually, let me pause this and I'll listen back and see if I can hear you hearing it. So yeah, it's raining. Um, I'll be honest, this is my second time filming a video this morning because I wanted to get something up on my channel because I know I haven't posted in quite a bit. That's mainly because the month of February was like really, really busy and kind of exhausting. Um, just had a lot going on in February and then March. It's already halfway through March and it's also been <laughs> just like unexpected stuff happening. Um, we are trying to get pre-approved for a mortgage loan and we're going to be calling the people back um or the lender next week um I'm pretty sure we already got pre-approved but we have to just talk with her about what that entails and then um the reason I asked her if we could put it on hold is because we're having car troubles this week and I want to help get that taken care of first um because it's just kind of a big deal you know just I mean we had just one car to share for a whole year so this is like no big deal compared to that it's just one week without a car I'm sure it'll be like fixed by um next week but just feel like we were doing pretty good for a while and I had a more like regular stable schedule because I was going to work around the same time my boyfriend was like 7 seven thirty. sometimes I'd get to work around 8 a.m and then you know finish like well before dinner time like a couple hours earlier than dinner time and then I'd come home and I'd have time to chill and hang out with him and then maybe make a video um, and have dinner and then go to bed. But now, um, I'm, I've had the past, like, two hours to just, like, sit and do whatever I want because I'm not starting till, like, 9 a.m. But I got up around 7. So I figured maybe I'd make a little vlog, um, because I still have about an hour before I need to start working. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys why I haven't another reason why I haven't posted is because I don't I don't think I have anything right now I want to review um I've been looking through my things my books and I have a lot of stuff that I've like already read that I could review but I they're not like the most interesting books or like things that everybody is already everybody and their brother already has read so um I don't know, like, for example, um, the Alice in Wonderland novel and the, Through the Looking Glass, the second one. I don't think I've done a review of that one on this channel, but I have read it, and I read it a long time ago. Um, I'm pretty sure just skimming through it, I could remember, like, the whole thing and review that, but who really is interested in Alice in Wonderland? Everybody's already either seen the films or read the books. Um... Sorry, sometimes I get sort of out of breath when I'm talking and I have to like breathe in deeply and swallow a lot and I just like noticed this today. Um, I filmed this the first time and I was watching it back and I was like, oh my god, I am mouth breathing a lot. Like right there. Like, I don't know, I would say a couple of things and then I would stop and I would take a huge deep breath through my mouth and then say another sentence. And I just really didn't like it. I was like watching myself and I was like, I can't watch myself talk because I sound so out of breath. I don't like it. I'm not going to post it. Um, so I'm refilming this, but 
the only thing I was thinking of sharing with you was some mangas I recently purchased. Um, it's just, I think, two of them. And then, what else? Oh, excuse me, I have a yawn. <sighs> it's still pretty early. I'm having iced coffee, so I'm yawny. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I can show you the two mangas that I recently bought. And then, I could show you the books I'm working on. I don't know where one of them is right now. Um, the rest of the series, it's called Pen Dragon, the Pen Dragon series. I'm trying to read that. My boyfriend wants me to read the whole series, and I'm sure he's gonna watch this and be giggling. But um, the first book of the Pen Dragon novel series is so hard to get through. I think I'm like maybe halfway through it, but I don't know where I put it. I like stopped reading and I don't know where I put it so I have to find it and finish it and then review it but so that's one thing I'm reading but I can't show you um and then I guess I'll just show you the other ones I'm reading so <sighs> excuse me I'm sorry I'm still working on Walden I don't think I've reviewed this yet because I'm not even done with it I'm like not even halfway through it it's a really I don't want to say this is a hard read but it's a very worded read very very wordy so it's thick it's small but it's thick so I'm slowly making my way through Walden by Thoreau and Civil Disobedience by Thoreau um that one I just have to really be in the mood for um and then I'm kind of sad about this one. I was reading Ninth House um, by Leah Berdugo, but there was this one scene that was kind of triggering for me and I wasn't ready for it. So I got kind of triggered and then I put it down and I haven't really picked it up since. And it doesn't like, I'm not bashing the book in any way because the writing and the story so far have been really, really good. Um, I just wasn't prepared for that. So I think I got like 10 chapters in. I'm almost halfway through the book. And then there was just one scene that like, I don't know if you can see that right there. But there was one scene that really, really rubbed me the wrong way. So I put it down. But I'm still going to read it. I'm still going to finish it. And I'm still going to review this one. Um, That one is particularly about, excuse me again. I'm so yawny. That one is particularly about a secret society at Yale and this girl who gets inducted into it because of her magical powers. So it's actually really cool. Um, and then I'm also reading The Overstory by Richard Powers. <sighs> Let me take a breath. <laughs> um, I've been taking a while to read this one too. I think I posted a photo of this one like several months ago. It might even have been in like December of 2022 um, because it's just like I like it because it revolves around trees but I don't I don't want to call it plain because I'm not even that far through it. So far, the stories I've read have just kind of been like top-down view stories of families and people. And I'm still trying to see how they all connect with each other aside from the references back to trees. Um, so this one's kind of slow-paced for me. It's not something that I would like pick up and just digest in like a day because it's just that decadent of a book. Um, it's more of like a... I'm going to sit down and have quiet time type of book. <laughs> and the past couple months have not had any like feeling or need of quiet time. The past couple months, I feel like for me, have been just go, go, go lifestyle. I actually could really use a break or a little, um, you know, vacation getaway with my boyfriend up north or something. But so that's what I've been reading.
working on. Um, there's more. Those are just the three that are in front of me. Um, I, I tend to rotate through books a lot. So at any given point, I'm probably reading like five different books and not, but that's the, the, the con part of that is I don't get through any particular book really quickly. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Someone do a like yawn counter or like take a shot every time I yawn. Okay, so manga. I picked up two manga from Barnes and Noble. There's this one. And here's the back. So I haven't started it yet, but it says the Savior's Book Cafe in Another World. So basically this girl gets transported to another world and she's told that she is the savior, she's the hero, and she doesn't really like that assignment at all. And so she just opens this um like cafe for and book cafe. Yeah, book cafe story. And some of the characters or people in the other world come to visit her at the cafe. So we'll see how that goes. And then the other one is this one. What is it called? Mama Akuma. So this is the front. This is the back. This is the story of Akuma. That's him. And Sakura. That's her. Um, she is a fourth grader and he is a demon. <laughs> um, this is rated teen, T for teen. And, uh, I guess Akuma, the demon, has had a lot of different contracts with humans before. And, you know, he always has, like, a task to accomplish or something, um, per the contracts he makes. But, uh, Sakura, this girl, she's in fourth grade and her wish is for him to become her mama. I don't know what happened to her actual mother or why that's her wish, but that's her wish. And that's all the back of the book says is that this demon is gonna make the greatest mama ever. So it just sounds really funny. So I picked those up. Um, I will let you know how they are. I haven't started either of them yet. I might get started on them this week if I am in the mood for manga. Another yawn. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I keep yawning. I hope I'm not making you guys yawn. Well, actually, you're only one viewer, so I should refer to you as you, not you guys. That used to seriously, like, I don't know. It kind of would bug me when I would be watching someone on YouTube and they would refer to the viewer as you guys. Because, yes, I know there's a lot of people simultaneously watching the video, but... Like you, you're just sitting there, sorry to break the fourth wall, but you are just sitting there by yourself watching me. So it's really, I'm having a conversation with you alone, so I should probably refer to you as you, not as you guys. Um, but that's just a me thing. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. If you do, like, please comment and let me know I'm not alone in that because that was like a pet peeve of mine for a long time. <laughs> This is funny. Um, also, does that count as a breaking the fourth wall if I've been talking to you this whole time? It probably doesn't. But. I think it stopped raining. Hang on. Yeah, it stopped raining. That was a short rain. It's only rained for like maybe 10 minutes. It like barely started before I started recording. I've been recording for 14 minutes. Oh, and I didn't show you yet. Tyler bought me this notebook. There's Totoro. It's just cute. She's my favorite. I think her name is May. 
yeah she's cute but is that a cookie he has oh no it's a um like a flute thing like an ocarina thing or something they all have one too let me see it looks like a cookie but it also looks like a flute and all three of them are holding one i don't know what that is oh well his face looks so funny on the back <laughs> look at that nose oh my god i should make this like my profile picture just <laughs> anytime i post a video you guys just see his face and you're like who is this person i subscribe to i don't remember subscribing to funky looking totoro oh um sorry i just had a thought i kind of want to redecorate this room so if you guys wanted to see like decoration videos and me decorating and organizing and stuff let me know because i've been watching excuse me i've been watching a lot of that type of content like they're so basically we want to buy a house and the way that tyler is he loves antiques and I do too, but he loves them like he wants them all over the place. He wants clutter. He wants everything to have a story. And I think that's great. But I don't collect things that quickly. He, he could like easily amass a bunch of stuff and like put it in a room. But I need some even scarce bit of organization. Otherwise, I get major anxiety. Um, so I've actually been like watching a bunch of home redecoration stuff on YouTube from other YouTubers and seeing like how do they prettily decorate a house with antique stuff instead of it just looking like a big heap of old things. I, I actually like things to have utility still. I like them to have purpose and meaning and not just get thrown about and not that he throws things about or anything but like we'll just buy up stuff and then we'll put it in the basement and tell ourselves okay we're gonna decorate the house with these things and then sometimes we don't get to it i do have some pieces in here in this room that are actually incorporated into my books um excuse me um and he has some things over on that side of the room like his mother's table and he has this big lamp that he loves it's a huge owl lamp it's like giant um i don't want to show you the hallway hang on the hallway is like dirty but i want to show you his lamp so there's the lamp it has owls needs a new lampshade i keep telling him i want a new lampshade for it but we have that and then Here's like all of my bookshelves. I have some antiques like right up there. Those are both in those this eh, and this <laughs> are antiques. Um, and then we have his Legos on top, and I have all my nerd stuff over there. Um, and my books are on both shelves, and he has some books down there at the bottom. He's got that giant. That's all his Star Wars stuff. You can see how I mean like. It looks great at first, but I don't want the whole room to turn up looking like a huge jumble. I want it to look more tailored, like a room, not just piles. Um, you can actually see in the closet, we have this display case that we're not even using yet. Um, and I'm sure we're going to get more. So, anyway, I think I'm going to redo this room a tiny bit because we have, like, posters up on the walls that they fit the theme, but they don't really make sense. They're just plastered around the room. So, if you guys want to watch that, please let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know you would actually watch it. Um, I think you would. I know some of my friends would. Um... Yeah, it's been almost 20 minutes, so I think I'm going to go. Mm -mm. 
um but thank you for watching and letting me drink coffee in front of you hopefully you're drinking something too um have a good day wherever you are or a good evening if you're watching this in the evening i don't know what time it is where you are but i hope you're having either a fabulous morning a good lunch time or a good evening and i'll see you guys next time bye